So for our model, we know that the arrival rate is 20 customers per hour and it's, uh, it follows a Poisson distribution. So that tells us that our inter-arrival times are exponentially distributed with mean 3 minutes. So what I'm going to have is to change my um, uh, inter-arrival time to exponential with mean 3 minutes. I also need to uh, specify my service time here which is triangularly distributed with parameters uh, that are given here. So I can click on the server object and simply uh, modify the, the values here but I would like to show one other feature of Simio here which is the expression builder. So uh, the expression builder helps you to type expressions. Um, so let's say I would like to specify the service time of my server. So what I can do, I can simply type random and as you can see the expression builder helps me identify uh, related words here. So you can either double click on random and when you click, uh, when you uh, type dot here, you will see the different options that you have from the random uh, library. So the different uh, distributions, dis distributions that you can use here. So for the, um, for this model, we know that the processing times are triangularly distributed. So I can basically go ahead and uh, either double click on triangular or simply type it here. So triangular with parameters one. Two and um, sorry, one point uh, one, 2.5 and four. And I selected the expression by mistake. So one, 2.5 and four. So uh, as you work with Simio. Um, in the future you will find the expression builder um, very helpful especially when you you're, you don't know the exact expression that you need to type in. So now that we have our um, inter-arrival time and um, service times um, specified, the other thing that we need to specify is basic, uh, uh, basically deals with the uh, physical layout of the system. So we know that uh, the distance between the entrance to the counter is 8 meters and the distance between the counter to the exit is 5 meters and we would like to incorporate that in a model. So for our path objects we have basically two options to uh, specify the length. So we can either uh, when you click on the path objects and look at the properties you will see that you can either draw to scale or if you set this value to false, you can basically um, specify the logical length here. So I'm going to use uh, both approaches here. So for my um, first path that connects my source to my server, I'm going to draw it to scale. So um, basically Simio will consider the physical distance between um, the, uh, the two nodes here. So when you go to your units, you will see that the unit for length is meters. So each of these um, squares between the, uh, that you see here uh, is basically representative of one meter. So I need eight of these between my um, source and server. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So since I've selected uh, the true value for a drawn to scale property, Simio uh, will now know that the distance between my source and my server object is eight meters. For the uh, second path here, I'm going to use the other option. So I'm going to set the drawn to scale value or property to false and instead set its uh, logical length to 5 meters. One last thing that I need to add to my model is basically this uh, walking speed of my um, customers. So I'm going to uh, 
click on customer and basically go to its properties and as you can see the first property of my model entity here is its um, desired speed. So what I'm going to do I'm going to change the default value from 2 to 1 and um, just need to make sure that the units are consistent so meters per second that's what I want. So now I have basically completed my initial model and I can run it in the interactive mode and watch the model run and uh, basically see how our entities flow and get processed in my system. So now that we have our initial model, we can go ahead and do some experimentation with it. So the first thing that I'm going to do before uh, running my experiment is to set uh, the run configurations. So I'm going to start my model at uh, 10 a.m. and I'm going to set the run length to uh, 12 hours since we know that our system operates from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. So now when I run my model, it starts at 10 a.m. And if I click on fast forward, you will see that um, it stops at 10 p.m. exactly at, uh, after 12 hours. Now I can go to the results tab and see the results of my interactive run. So you can see the Simio pivot grid here that provides your simulation outputs uh, that are categorized by different objects and items. So for example, you can click a model entity and you will see that we have only one type of model entity in our model which are uh, our customers and um, you can see that uh, uh, we have the number in system and the time in system and for the number in system we can see the average and maximum and for the time in system we can see the average maximum and minimum um, and of course for the number in system since we start with an empty system the minimum is zero um, we can also look at our uh, server objects and we have only one server object which is server 1 and if we look at uh, the capacity category and under the data item scheduled utilization we will see this uh, utilization of our uh, server and uh, we can also see different statistics that are related to the input buffer, output buffer, processing station uh, of our server and also the statistics that are related to our sync and to our source objects such as the number uh, that were created or the number that were destroyed by our um, sync object. Now an important thing here is that if I reset this model and go back to my facility view and uh, run my model again um, I'm going to see the exact same values here uh, for my simulation outputs and the reason is when you run your model um, in the interactive mode uh, multiple times you're not basically replicating the model um, you're just repeating the exact same scenario and it's because Simio uses the exact same stream of random numbers to generate your um, in this case inter arrival times and service times so we know that since we are dealing with random numbers here, one run of the model is not enough to make any decisions. So what we need to do is to replicate our model. And in order to do that in Simio, we need to go to the project home ribbon and create a new experiment. Now, um, you can see the design of or properties uh, of your experiment here. You can simply set uh, the replication number here. And I'm going to uh, set it to 200 as specified. I'm going to hit run and uh, the run is over so I can now go back to my pivot grid and uh, look at my simulation outputs. Uh, what you, uh, one thing that you note here is that I have three more columns here uh, which gives me the minimum and maximum uh, values across my replications and also uh, you can see the half width of the confidence interval over your um, statistics uh, on the third column which gives you some information about um, how accurate your estimations are. So another nice feature of the Simio pivot grid is that you can uh, 
filter out some of the statistics and narrow down your pivot grid to the statistics that matter to you. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, just focus on the model entity and server objects and then just the population and resources and the resource, sorry. And I don't care about holding time, resource state throughput. And what I want here is number and system, time and system, and uh, scheduled utilization. And since I'm only interested in uh, the average and maximum uh, time and system, I can look at average, uh, maximum, uh, average hours, maximum hours, and percentages here. So now I have uh, narrowed down my pivot grid to uh, the five uh, performance measures that I care about. 